My name is Daniel Dennett. I'm a philosopher at Tufts University in Massachusetts, and I'm the author of a number of books, including Darwin's Dangerous Idea about evolution, and I'm on the Stad Amsterdam to talk about Darwin and evolution and artificial intelligence and artificial life. People often wonder how evolution by natural selection can be an algorithmic process when it involves randomness. But in fact, we're all familiar with algorithms that use randomness. The most obvious is long division. When you think, how many times does 42 go into 317? And you say, oh, I don't know. And the first number you choose, you can sort of choose at random. If it's the wrong number, you fix it. It's either bigger or smaller. But you got to start with something and then fix it. And you start with something, it might just as well be random. And the same thing is true in navigation, in celestial navigation. How do you use a sextant to find out where you are? Well, first, you make a guess. You say, well, I think I'm roughly here. It doesn't matter if your guess is wrong, because then you do some calculations and you say, well, if I were right there, then if I measured the sun and the angle to the sun right now using my sextant, I'd get a particular angle. And if I'm not there, it'll tell me and then I can make a correction. So what we can do then is I make a guess, and what I do, I'm going to guess that I'm right here. And I'm going to guess that the sun is right above that point. And there's the line to the sun, and it's roughly west. And the sun is way up in the air, and I'm going to measure this angle. And of course, as the sun moves, this is going to change. So I make a guess, then I measure the angle, I get the, the bearing, the compass bearing of the sun, and then I make my corrections. And this is measuring the angle of the sun, and I've just got to make a slight adjustment here. The sun is going down, of course, and I swing it back and forth and get it right on the spot, ready, mark! Now, I read the angle off the compass. Somebody has been looking at the watch, at the chronometer, and knows exactly when I said mark. And now we call on our assistant, Martin, who tells us what the angle is. Uh, the bearing is 266 degrees. Very good. Now we put that on our piece of paper, and we see my guess was wrong. I'm wrong on the angle, I'm wrong on the height of the sun, but I can make a correction, and then it tells me I'm not here. It's best we look from the top. There's the sun. I thought I was right here. I made a guess. I was wrong. I had the angle too small. The angle was higher, which means I'm closer. I'm here. This is the, this is the direction to the sun. So we know that from where I started, we have to make a little correction to right here. That's where I am, right on this line right now. That's how celestial navigation works. It's also how evolution works. Every generation, evolution, which is completely stupid, doesn't know a thing, it makes a gazillion guesses. It says, well, let's try this. And it makes a whole lot of offspring. Most of them don't work out. Only a tiny fraction of them succeed. But the ones that succeed get advanced to the next round of the tournament. They have offspring. And so it goes, generation after generation, dumb, lucky, random guesses, corrections, corrections, guess, correct, guess, correct, guess, correct. And that's how natural selection works, just like navigation.